Do you remember the pneumatic slide whistle project? Because I almost forgot. It's time to get back to that. A lot been going on, but, you know, just gotta do it. So when he left off, I had prototyped this sort of baffle thing to go into the chamber to help direct the airflow, and I'd started to cut it out of brass, but the work holding failed, and it was kind of ugly. So I'm going to try it in a collet block this time. Um, I Hopefully the vibrations aren't too bad. It's going to be awfully thin out there, so we'll see. Um, but I think it's worth a try. So the first step will be putting this in the middle, and then I need to rotate this back and forth to get it uh, parallel with the top. So doing that first. Originally, I was thinking I was going to have to get an indicator and really dial it in, but um, I just made a little stack of gauge blocks, and actually this feels pretty good. Um, this is flat down on this surface, which is, I mean, it's not a, it's not a surface plate, but it's pretty good. Um, it's certainly good enough for this. And yeah, it, it has nice, just barely, you can just barely feel the friction if, if you go out to either side. So I think that's pretty good. I'll just uh, crank down the collet block. So here it is. Um, just going to use this angle block to, to prop it up at, what is this, 15 degrees? Something like that. F yeah, 15 degrees. Um, that'll give me the, the cut profile that I want. That is just, yeah, that clears the... Just have to make sure that it doesn't, uh, that the... The furthest in isn't below the level of the jaws. it is. Pretty good, I think. Didn't have any significant chatter problems, even though it was stuck out so so far and so thin. So that's good. And, uh, you know, collet blocks are pretty awesome. If you don't have them, I recommend getting a set. Uh, they're not quite as much fun as using the indexing head, but they sure are convenient for some stuff like this. Okay, I made a silly mistake, or maybe I just forgot about this detail because it's been so long, but when this is inside this pipe up to where it needs to be, you know, flush with that opening, there's no room for the plug on the air adapter to fit in there to get locked into place. So I was thinking, oh, I'll have to put it back in the mill and cut it at a steeper angle. But then I realized, no, I can just cut away this chunk up there because the air is only getting injected in the middle here anyway. So whether or not that's smooth back there doesn't matter at all. So I'll just um, knock it off with an angle grinder and then clean it up on the belt sander.
is reassembled. Um, once again, ear protection on this thing really is loud, but. So it's still, it definitely still has a sweet spot. You get too low, it gets all weird. And you get too high and it just stops entirely. But here in the middle, here in the middle, yeah, not bad. Um, I think I'm gonna call this good enough. Now I need to start thinking about how to mount it. Um, maybe with some kind of lever that moves this in and out. I need to think about that some more.